I said salute to the untouchable True School Sports Empire. <laughs> That's right, over the untouchable. Not only the South Florida boxing scene, but the worldwide boxing scene. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. <laughs> <laughs> My man right here. Hey. We're going to fight the ground. You know all the songs, man. You know, you know all the dance hall songs. Hey, uh, show him the elephant man. What was that? Let's go. Fight the ground. There you go. Our well, adventure brings us today. BMB Boxing Gym out here in Kyoto, way out here. As you I, I, I can see the mountains way out there. We're here today to interview Ken Shiro, so let's go in and let's go see the amazing boy, ourself. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> One of the supporters made this. Uh, they made that poster for, the for, the, for the first world title. First one. Yeah, first one. Yeah, I, I, I remember. I'm I'm pretty sure I stayed up till like four in the morning to watch that one because I, yeah. I remember. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Arigato. So this is where our boxing journey takes us today, ladies and gentlemen. We're here in Nagoya at the Soul Box Hatanaka Boxing Gym. Today I'll be interviewing the, uh, they call him the, the dream boy, the three division champ. One of the best pound for pound fighters coming out of Japan. Kosai Tanaka. So let's go inside. It's a beautiful gym. I, I, I like. One of, one of the coolest things about um, boxing gyms in Japan is that uh, all the gyms do a great job of preserving the history of Japanese boxing. They have like all the magazines, like they had it at Kenshiro's gym and they have it in this one. So let me show you guys, look, you come over here, look, you got young Naiwa Inoue here. And they, just, they got it like by the year. So you can really look up like, for example, like you can pick, pick a year, like, I don't know, we'll say December of, or November of 2014. Oh. Speaking of 20, I found him. I found him. Look, Roman Gonzalez. 
Roma Gonzalez, Nayewa Inoue. And then got that by the year. So it's pretty cool. Let me find out. Nayewa Inoue is black. He got this whole Jerry Crow shit going on. <laughs> it's from 2016. see this glass window and you can see you see dudes training getting that work in getting ready for all the smoke <laughs> pretty cool let's uh, let, let, let's have a look at the gym let, let, let's see come, come up the stairs here So you have um, my first time in Japan, yeah. Oh, you like Japanese boxing? I love Japanese boxing. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I saw. I came here. You know, since, since the fight's not going on, I figured. You know what? I go. I go to all the gyms and show the Americans yeah. how, how about the Japanese talent. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a good movie. Thank you. It's gonna be good. Thank movie. you. Thank you. Thank you. Middleweight class. He's middleweight. So you guys wanted some Japanese culture, so I'm gonna give it to you for those of you who've been complaining, saying, BT, where's all the videos of, of all this Japanese culture? Well, we're, today we're here in Kyoto. What, what's the name of the shrine? Uh, Kiyomizi Temple. Kiyomizi Temple, very, very famous shrine here in Japan. Got my boy, Tahei, this is the man right here, doing the translating for the interviews. You guys seen him in the interviews and whatnot. Tahei, Tahei, tell the people back in America about, about the shrine. Like, what's up? Uh, Oh, we need a ticket? Oh, you need a ticket. We need a ticket. All right, we need a ticket. We can't just, we can't just walk in. You can't just listen. One thing about Japan I learned, guys, you can't just walk in and do things in Japan. You need, you need an appointment. You need to have structure. You need, you need organization. You think you're just gonna walk in and be spontaneous? No. Or appointments, tickets, everything on time. A panoramic view of the, uh, the shrines. Got tickets. Got a ticket. Let me see the ticket. Can I see it? Look. It's a beautiful ticket. Ticket right here. See that? Beautiful. Kyle Misu Temple. Act Kiyo like you know. Kyo Misu, my bad. I mean, Kyo Misu. Alright, now we're going in. So, like, everyone has this impression that, um, that just because I'm in Japan, I'm balling. And I'm not. You know, this is where I'm staying. It ain't much, but it's something, you know. That's why I sleep. You know, you got the outlet over there, the AC, you know. Th this is one thing I really like about Japan is they got these little blinds so you can just kind of pull the curtains down and pull the curtains up. But, uh, yeah, living out my suitcase. Got the ramen over there. Got a couple of my favorite Japanese snacks. Let me show you guys. Look. 
like I'm a big fan of this right here. This is some good stuff right here. And then um, this chocolate's pretty good. But yeah, this is this is the luxurious life of true school with the untouchable. All right, so this is how we're gonna end the vlog. A lot of you guys have been asking me like on Instagram and even on here, like BT, what's your favorite food in Japan? Or have you tried ramen? Have you had Japanese pork roast? And just all kinds of stuff. Now, for you, you guys know me, for those of you who know me personally, you guys know I'm a very simple guy. You know, the stuff that you think would really get me excited won't and the, and the simplest stuff will get me excited so i'm gonna end the vlog by showing you guys what my two favorite my three favorite japanese snacks are but i'll show you my favorite favorite so let's go to the supermarket all right so we're in my neighborhood my Jap my japan hood my you know this, this, this is like, like the Daniel beach of japan uh we in ota city right now this is my block that i stay on and uh i come to the supermarket like like twice a day at least so you, you walk straight right here and I don't know, someone that's Japanese needs to tell me what the heck this means in, um, in English. Maybe, maybe um, that's what it means in English up there. But this place right here, look, this place, they got these places all over Japan. Um, I'm not sure if, uh, if it's called my basket in English. I don't know, but that's, that's the place we're at. So I come down here, right? We come down here, we go down these steps. I'm gonna show you guys. This ain't too far from where I stay either, so. Pretty cool. Gonna go get my favorite snack, so here we go. All right, so this is it right here, guys. It's the, the name of the snack that I like. My favorite Japanese snack is called, uh, it's called Coolish. And it, it's like, the um, best way I could describe this is like, it's like a, it's like a milkshake in a pouch. And it's very cheap, it's like only 108 yen, which I don't know what that is in dollars, but I know that's very cheap, it's probably like, maybe a dollar or two and it's hard to explain but it's just real smooth when you drink it so this is my favorite snack in japan for those wondering so i finally copped it coolish my favorite japanese snack whatever you want to call it it's my favorite thing in all japan um i'm gonna end the vlog on this note but this is very smooth very good stuff here the good thing about it is sometimes when you get these like it's, it's kind of hard to sip at first but once you get to that middle once you, once you hit the middle spot you're good to go. Like, when it gets real hot in Japan, this is like the best thing to drink. When it gets real, real hot in Japan. Hmm. I finally hit the middle spot, so it's real smooth. But on that note, guys, look, I'm going to end the vlog. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the Japan content and all the sights and sounds of um, Japan. That I could possibly bring you. I didn't film everything I did in Japan because I just, I just wanted to enjoy the moment of being in Japan. But uh, you guys got a small taste, and I hope you liked it. So uh, take care. God bless. I'm gonna go watch Canelo versus John Ryder now because that that'll be starting any minute now. So um, keep supporting the channel. Keep rock with your boy True School, and hopefully we'll, we'll we'll be back in Japan come July for uh, the fight. The reason we came out here in the first place was in no way Fulton. It didn't happen, so. I have to go back to America, I have to go back to the USA, but I'm going to try to come back. And hopefully um, I make it back for you guys so we can get more great content and more great interviews for you. So, uh, yeah, take care. Right. Thank you for watching another video on the Untouchable True Sports Empire. We're here at the Hatanaka Boxing Gym in Nagoya, Japan. And uh, more great videos just like this one, make sure you guys click right here.